Hi, I'm Patrick Dangerfield, and this is The Danger Zone. G'day guys, today we're interviewing Will Young, and uh, we're sitting in the locker room with some very immature footballers. Will, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Patrick. Now, this is your second year at the club, and uh, you're lucky enough to play a game uh, round two against Sydney. Tell us what the build-up was like for uh, that first game. Um, well, pretty quick, pretty, pretty quick, really. Uh, I was emergency that week and VB pulled out pretty late, so I was in. Um, pretty much just called the family straight away and it was playing the next day and uh, unfortunately didn't have, didn't have a very good game at the time. So, yeah. That's right, that happens to the best of us. Now, in terms of uh, idiots and jokers within the, within the club, who would you rank as your number one? Not looking at anyone, but there's someone that's been throwing shoes, towels and bare ass to the camera. Who would you describe as your most annoying player? Oh, that would have to be Taylor Walker. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> he is a Muppet. <laughs> now, in terms of uh, living arrangements, when you first got over here, you were uh, billeted out with a host family, is that right? That's correct, yep. Whereabouts are you living now? Uh, living with Jonathan Griffin and Ricky Henderson. Tell us what it's like to uh, live with the big Griff man and uh, Ricky Henderson. Um, it's not bad. I feel as though I'm the mum of the family. I have to help them out when they need it, but I oh know Griffo's alright, uh, Hendo's good, just have to keep him in line every now and then. What's his cleanliness night? Like? Because we know that's a, uh, there's a bit of a sore point with you because you're a bit of a clean freak. Can you tell us what he's like? Oh, no comment really, I can't really, I don't really want to pick on the poor bugger, so, but he is pretty messy. Rick, you need to get cleaner. Now, uh, we're living with Griffo, who does the majority of the cooking, and uh, what's your specialist dish? Uh, I think me and Griff cook, I don't think, Hen Hendo's probably cooked about three times in the space of about six or seven months, so... I have spoken about that, he reckons his specialty is takeaway. Yeah, that or uh, burritos. <laughs> yeah, pretty plain, pretty plain there, so... Now, uh, you're originally from Victoria, tell us about uh, where you're from. Yeah, from Ballarat, Patrick, um, country Victoria. Pretty cold place down there. Um, not really much to it at all. It's not a very nice place. Yeah, well, we had uh, we had a school game probably two and a half, three years ago, and you did wipe me out behind play. It was probably one of the dirtiest acts I've ever seen in football or been a part of. Yeah. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Because Will and myself play against each other, and Will just thought it was it was cool to knock me out behind play. Well. You were there and you were about to kick the ball and my eyes just lit up. I mean, you were an AFL player back then, back in, back in Victoria, and it was my <laughs> chance to, to just say hello. <laughs> I reckon it's uh, made our relationship stronger. I think it has. Tell us about draft day. Um, you know, what you thought going into draft day, if you, were, you, know, if you knew you were going to be drafted and if you had spoken to many clubs? Oh, I mean, like, you, you speak to a couple of clubs, but you don't really know for sure if you're going to get drafted. Um, like well, the the regional manager in at North Ballarat told me I had a good chance, but I mean you can't get your hopes up. Otherwise, if you do and you don't get drafted, then you can get pretty upset. But um, yeah, I just went into it with an open mind, and thankfully I got picked up. Tell us about once you do get drafted, what's the uh, what's the go with the sandful system over here? Because we know not everyone plays for the same team, and the, and the Crows don't have a a team in the sandful. Tell us about uh, what happens once you're drafted. Yeah, um, well, we come over here, obviously, it's, it's, you yeah, train for a couple of months, you actually don't know what sample team you're going to play for, and then they have a uh, little mini draft, um, which obviously the, the team last on the ladder chooses first, and um, yeah, in, in order like that, and you just get chosen from there. So what team do you play for then, Will? Play for the Mighty Red Legs. So obviously Bass Grand being... Grand final contender this year as well. Grand final contender, you heard it here. Obviously, uh, Bass has taken over the range this year, and it was a pretty slow start to the season, but uh, it certainly picked up from there. What, uh, what do you like about Bass's coaching? Um, well, he, obviously, I like him a lot because he's a, he's a defender and he helps me out a lot. Um, that's obviously how I want to play, like, like he did here. And um, I think he just brings a lot of structure to the club. Like It goes to show um, how much we've improved with him. We've had the same list last year and this year, and... Um, like he, he's coming to the to the club uh, with with structure and, and, and a new game plan, and we're we're in the top five. Youngie, thanks for having a chat today. I appreciate you coming inside the danger zone. No worries, Patrick. Cheers.